train of I have been professionally working on Harley Davidson since I was probably 26 years old. I had my first shop uh, in behind my house, but I was actually working at the dealership at the same time. I went to work at the dealership at 17 years old. I worked there for 11 years old, and then I've had my own business ever since. Um, as far as racing, I went to Bonneville at an early age, and then by then I was hooked. And in 96, I won the points championship at El Mirage and set four land speed records at Bonneville at Speed Week with one motorcycle, all with the same engine. And so, you know, that was, I think, one of my super accomplishments in 96, plus I was running a, running a shop too at the same time. And um, I'm finally, I'm gonna make one more run at Bonneville this year at the Bub Meet, and then I'm done. I'm retiring, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna step off. Well, my first trip to California was, it was pretty insane in a way. Um, I talked my dad in to let me do it. I had a 57 pan head and uh, <laughs> it was funny. I, I left North Carolina with, I think, I, if I can remember correctly, it was like $54 in my pocket. I had a hillbilly credit card, which is a siphon hose, a gallon jug strapped to the back of the bike, a handful of tools and a little leather bag, which I still have. And, uh, and you know, and I, I just took off. And I worked at service stations on the way out, changing water pumps for people, doing things, sleeping on the side of the road. And, uh, you know, my mom sent me out with like 11 pairs of socks, two pairs of jeans, and about six or eight t-shirts and my leather jacket that I still have. My influences in life, Willie G. Davison, I would say Junior Johnson, my wife. She sorta of keeps me in line, sorta. Of. <laughs> and I would say good people in general. Um, on my Born Free uh, 5 bike, the engine actually has set multiple records at Bonneville and at El Mirage. So I used a 145 twin cam. It makes uh, 251 horsepower to the rear wheel. Um, it will probably just shred the tire that I've got on it. But I mean, that's the style of bike that I'm building too, was a bike that would smoke the tire for the whole quarter mile, you know, back in the day. And, um, the tubing that I used for the chassis is all mild steel. It's a uh, DOM seamless tubing. Um, I, I built a whole one inch frame with an inch and a half backbone. And uh, the tank is going to fit inside the top backbone and the two uh, lower backbones uh, that run over the rocker boxes. And it's gonna slip in there almost like the horn tank of a Swin bicycle, that style. And uh, as far as the sheet metal goes, I'm hand forming the aluminum fenders and they'll be polished. The tank will be polished. And the only part of the bike that's going to be painted is the frame itself. The steel frame is the only thing going to be painted. And that's the whole thing about this bike. I'm bringing part of Bonneville, part of drag racing, part of a nostalgia, old, old pieces of, you know, a K model front end and, you know, and then just bring the whole collaboration together and then, you know, try to make something really cool out of it. I mean, Born Free, realistically, Born Free has come so fast, so quickly, compared to all the different runs. I mean, Sturgis, um, going to the Redwood Run, going to, you know, all these other runs that I've been to all my life. I gotta say, last year at Born Free, it was, it was incredible, you know? I mean, that many people, to get together for a one day event, it was, that was knocking it out of the park.